Some days I look back, I'm just like, how did you even have time to bathe, Joshua? <laughs> how? Hi. Welcome to the flip side of Josh Renette's world. Over here, we talk about finance, lucrative lifestyle choices, investment, and personal development. So, today guys, we are going to be talking about time management. Your girl is famous for doing the most, and with doing the most comes with proper time management so i read this quote and it's definitely one to live by it says time management is life management so for the past four years i've had my full-time job i've had my full-time job and then a part of the four years if you watched my video about how to get over suicidal thoughts there was a business and then after that failed, my relationship crashed and burned, I decided that I'm going to go back to school. So I did a program with UDL, and then your girl just couldn't be like, you know, that's not enough. So we just added UDL plus ACCA. So there are two jobs, two courses online, and I am telling you, some days I look back, I'm just like, how did you even have time to bathe, Joshua? Nett? <laughs> how? And it all comes down to proper time management. So today I'm going to give you five tips as to how you can manage your time. And if you can manage your time, you can definitely manage your life. Number one. So I will say the first thing even before we get into how we're gonna manage our time, we have to set a goal. So you've heard me say it, one of my goals in life is I wanna have a million dollars in assets. I think with assets, you need them to be reeling in some income so that you can live a comfortable life. While that is like on the top pinnacle of my goals, it's not one of the goals that I'm like, you know, I'm going after right away. One of the goals that I have that is actually attainable and I actually have plans in motion to is becoming a master teacher. So I love my job for many reasons. The most reason is all the vacations I get. <laughs> if you ask anybody why they love their job, they're going to tell you like, we don't love our job because we get paid a lot. We love our jobs because there are lots of perks and one of the perks is all of the vacation that we get. So I want to be a master teacher. In order for you to get to master teacher level, you have to do your bachelor's, you have to do your master's. Hence me going back to school and studying to be a certified accountant. Hence me doing courses in education because I want to get to that pinnacle. So you must, before we get into any time management skills, anything that we're going to do, we're going to set a goal. I also have other goals in life. I want to get myself a car. I want to get land. I want to get a home. So I've also put plans in motion to get these things because if you want to set out your life, you have to have something that you're working towards. And a great way to set a goal is by having a SMART objective. So we're going to go through what is a SMART objective. So the S in SMART objective stands for specific your goal must be specific so my goal is i want a car i want to own land i want to own my own home i want to be a master teacher so these goals are specific i know exactly what i'm working towards and when you set a goal your goal should be specific and then we're gonna go measurable can you measure can you attain this is it measurable one cup two cup two years three years four years whatever however you want to manage your goal however you want to measure it it must be applicable to you remember this is your goal and then your goal must be attainable like my goal saying randomly i want to be a millionaire while it is an attainable goal it takes a lot of planning a lot of sacrifices a lot of stuff have to be put in place before i get to that place but my goal i want to be a master teacher that is a bit more attainable because i know i go to school i do my bachelor's i do my master's i apply boom upgrade more money 
and then your goal must be realistic too many of us like for instance i'm gonna use myself again i for from my 20s i've always weighed between 120 to 150 pounds if i go about setting a goal i want to weigh 80 pounds that goal is not realistic it's not or if i set a goal i want to be five foot eleven that goal is not realistic so when you set a goal it must be realistic and then your goal must have a time frame attached to it so for my goal for becoming a master teacher i've given my year self a 10 year span so there's five years to do my degree three years because the system that we work in in order for you to get upgraded someone must die or retire and then you get that position so i know i'm currently at one level i want to upgrade to another level and then my upgrade is going to go to master teacher so i've given myself time to go to school time to process this upgrade and time for life happenings so i have five years for school three years for the upgrade to go through and then two years for life life just happens like the pandemic right now nobody planned for that i should have completed two exams but in the middle of boom no exams no courses no school i didn't plan for that so because life happens when you're planning you must remember okay i want to accomplish this in two months or two years or five years however we must always take into consideration that life happens number two now that we've set a goal we know that what we're doing we're going to actually manage our time and one way is by blocking out your calendar so in your phone because we're in a digital time you can actually block out times to do things 40 minutes to study 15 minute break i'm going to go to the city today so you scheduling when am i going to exercise when am i going to eat when am i going to call my parents when am i going to have time for my friends you pencil it all in to your calendar so you don't get it can get very strategic you can plan out your day your week your month your year and the palm of your hands it is important to use your calendar to like punch in your friends birthdays christenings when you want to exercise use your calendar and block out some time so you know what's happening there's some people who block out their entire day it is not a very effective method because i will say to you while it is a method to manage your time life happens i go down the road and boom i have a flat tire i didn't predict that so now my day is completely upset because i now have to change this tire go to the tire shop get a new tire and then by the time i am done i'm just exhausted and i want to go home to sleep <laughs> So while we can block out our, and that's one way, we're gonna block out our days, we're gonna set things into our calendar for the week, for the month, and for the year. So that's number two. Now, number three, the top three method, I think it works. So in your planner, in your daily planner, remember, you already have a goal set, we already know what we're doing, we're now planning out our days, so we're managing our time, we're gonna set three things not five things not ten things just three things three things that we want to accomplish each day three tasks because if you try to do too much you're gonna feel very overwhelmed so what I would do is I have an assignment due so that becomes priority I am going to do my assignment I'm gonna get in some exercise today I'm gonna call one of my siblings so those are three things for you you can be like three things i want to do today i'm going to record my youtube videos i'm going to exercise i'm going to do some follow-up so you do not pack your day with lots of stuff because when you pack your days with a lot of things it be can become very overwhelming and then after we set the three top things obviously there are going to be other tasks that you fulfill during the day point to remember putting going to work is not one of the things that you put when we're using the top three method we know we have to go to work so for me 
I already know. I'm gonna go to school in the morning and then I'm gonna go to my second job in the afternoon. So what I need to do is I wanna plan in the three things that I wanna do either during my break or during the time between the two of my jobs, just three things. And that may be catch up on an assignment, complete an assignment, watch a lecturer, do something that I know is productive. Number four, we're gonna plan out activities slash days. So for me, if you guys didn't know, if this is your first time visiting my channel, I have osteoarthritis. So now I plan out activities. I am on a hunt for 365 beaches. I hike, I explore the island, I teach, I do the most. So again, I have to plan out activities. So I will say to anybody, two days in the week, I will ride a bike. Two days in the week, I will go to the beach. So again, because of COVID restrictions, a lot of stuff, I'm not as free because we were on a curfew. So you had to be inside by six. So there were a lot of restrictions. However, I still planned out like at five, when I decided to go riding, I know I would leave the house at 4.15, get to the playing field for 4.30, and I'm gonna ride from 4.30 to 5.30, and then from five between 5.30 and six, I am back home. So I normally ride, so what I would do, so I exercise on a Sunday, I rest on a Monday, I exercise on a Tuesday, I rest on a Wednesday, I exercise on a Thursday, I rest on a Friday, and then I exercise on a Saturday. I used to block out that Saturdays were my days when I didn't plan to do a lot because I used to hike. However, COVID-19 has stopped hiking. So this is what I'm saying to you, life happens. Like we plan stuff, you know, but life keeps happening. So number four, us planning out activities, planning stuff is important. We put specific time, we put a specific date, and that helps us with time management so we don't feel flustered and overwhelmed. However, please remember, no matter how much we plan, life is going to happen. Number five, know your priorities. So before this year your girl like and I'm sharing this with you and I'm saying to you to manage your time because I have managed my time effectively in some ways but I still fall short a lot of times because my priorities are very jacked up sometimes so you can click the card above and watch my video with my diagnostic story and I would say to you at one point in my life I chose work over my health and then I decided that, you know, I had to do a complete 360. So now on the top of my priority list, I want to be a master teacher. I want to get millions of dollars, but my health is at the top. So I know the doctor would have said to me, I have to swim. I have to ride a bike. Hence me now planning out days when I do these specific tasks. So there are days I get up. And I know like today is a riding day. Today is a swimming day because this is now a priority. So while my education is a priority at the top of the list, like you have to set down things and I'll say to anybody at the top is my health. And then there is me, my job. And then there is me getting from one place to my job to another. And then I have my relationship and then I have family and I have other things that are on my priority list. And you have to know when you're setting things in place, whether you're going to block out your day, you're going to use a top three method, set a goal. You got to know your priorities. So for me, time management is key. If you do not manage your time, you're going to be wasting away your life literally that quote is so powerful you have to manage every single second every single day you can't just waste away days because wasting away days is wasting away your life Thank you very much guys for watching today's video in the comment section below you can give me some tips how you manage your time or which time management skill you're now going to tap into to make your life even better click the subscribe button share this video with a friend and until the next one bye